Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 63. I'm Nate Moore. We're going to talk more about VLOOKUP today. And I want to show you a new feature in Excel 2007 that really helps you when you're doing VLOOKUP. The way to introduce it is let's go back to the VLOOKUP formula that we had before. And again, what am I looking for? I'm looking for cell B2. Where do I want to find it? Over here in my diagnosis codes. We'll scroll up to the top. Shift in down, hit F4. Remember, we want to lock these in. Still want the second column like we started with. But now we're going to add the fourth variable. I always do the fourth variable. In the first couple of videos, I tried to simplify and leave it out. But when I'm using VLOOKUP, I always put in true or false. And if you look here, it's telling me true means approximate match and false means exact match. There's some applications for true if you're trying to get it within a, uh, the lookup value within a range for whatever reason, but I almost always do false. So I can type false here, and what false says is if you don't find an exact match, I want an error message. So I found an exact match there. Let's copy this down. And look, I've got an error there. I've got an error there and there. There's a couple where it couldn't find, say, a diagnosis code of 159.1 or 173.11 in my table. There's a couple of errors. If you're doing VLOOKUP and you want, um, if, if you're looking for numbers, for example, and you want to add these, you're going to have a tough time adding NA in your totals. Or, you know, if you're sending a report, you know, NA is not, you know, the best thing to put in a report. You know, we can um, make that look a little bit better like we expected it not to be available rather than an error message. And here's what you do. In fact, what I'm going to do is let's take this whole uh, shift in down. Let's take this whole thing out. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to preface my VLOOKUP formula with this new formula, if error. And what if error says is, well, it comes right there. Returns value if error ex if expression is an error and the value of expression itself otherwise. What on earth does that mean in English? What it means is you put if error and you put a value in here first. You put some kind of function. And if the function returns an error, then tell me what to do with the error. Do you want to put uh, something in uh, a text message that says, hey, this isn't available, or it's not found, or there's a reason? Or if you're doing looking for numbers, you can make it a zero, too, and then you can add them. So let's do my if error. I'm going to do the same old VLOOKUP. What am I looking for? B2. Where am I going to find it? Over in Diagnosis Codes, Shift and Up, and arrow down one so I can get the right range. Hit F4, comma 2 comma false. If you can't find it, I want to know the error. So there's VLOOKUP, and that's in there. Now what if error is saying is, all right, if this VLOOKUP returns um, what I expect, if I don't get an error message, then tell me what I got. If I get an error message, what do you want to do? And I'm going to put a uh, note in here that says, not found. And when I want text there, I'm going to put it in quotes. If you just wanted a zero, you don't need the quotes. But if you want a text, field there, like not found, Excel wants that in quotes, you hit return. Well, it found 162.5, so it gave me what was in column two, like I asked. If you come down here, you can look, there's a not found, there's a not found. What we can do is we can do conditional formatting and highlight sales rules, text that contains not found, and we'll put it in yellow and click OK. And every time I see not found, now I can highlight those and say, oh, Maybe I need to update my table. Maybe my diagnosis code's wrong. But it's really easy to pull those out rather than have an error message in NA in there. So that's what I want to show you in Excel Video 63. Two things. First, when you're doing the VLOOKUP formula, get in the habit. I always put this fourth variable there. Even though it's optional, the Excel defaults to true. And we'll talk about some, uh, some applications, some ways that you may want to have this be true. But I always put uh, faults here to get an exact match if that's what I'm looking for. So that's the first thing. Make sure you put this fourth variable here now that you're more familiar with VLOOKUP. Second thing is kind of wrap this VLOOKUP formula in this if error function. And what it will do is if it finds what you're looking for, great. If it doesn't, you can control what's here so you don't have to go back and find the errors and deal with them. You can easily conditional format and find them or make them zero so you can add. There's all kinds of things you can do with if error. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.